it back. Glasses are fine. Okay, the shirt's okay. Everything I said is gonna seem really tame. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, just look at that. I'm gonna get you ready for the camera. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I, it's just sometimes I don't really feel the closest to me. And I never thought it was strange. I thought it was strange in the way that I talk to people. It might be something about like my relationship with my brother. Because I mean we are close, we're very close. Maybe it's just me feeling this way, but it seems like he's definitely more of like uh, someone I'm like sharing an experience with. Our relationship's usually okay if we don't spend a lot of time together. So I hated him for really years, and I never told my mom because I didn't want her to have like this terrible image of her kid. I think some of it is just seems like um, we don't have a lot in common, or at least our relationship is that we have. We don't. It doesn't have a lot in common with what we've seen depicted in like media and with my other friends, at least. I did it the last couple times with, like, Alex go, and she's like, I'm seven years older than you, you go. And then, like, eventually it goes into, like, her leaving the house and, like, driving away for the night or something. He was abusive, like, when I was little. And since he was older, he would, like, use me to, like, get his, like, aggression out. She um, said that she didn't know it was anything, and then, like, my mom said that she paid for the clothes that she was wearing, and my sister stripped down. And it was winter, by the way, too. Like, it up from Michigan, where it's snowing all the fucking time. But like they're saying like, oh, that's what brothers are supposed to do. I'm like, is that how it's supposed to be? Like, you don't have to do that. Damn. According to most of the people I know, a lot of my friends anyway, who have siblings, like brothers, older brothers, we don't have like a typical relationship. Because I, you know, you see in media and even some of my friends, they say like they get in fights with their brother, they're like rolling around on the floor and stuff. And, and then, like, I mean, my brother and I have never done that, and people think that's, like, very strange. Neither of us really handled my parents' uh, divorce very well, so we kind of pat each other for that, which was good. But after a while, we got used to it, and we didn't have that same connection really much anymore. Like, sometimes I feel, like, a little bit distant from him. Like, he's more of a friend than a, a relative. I get that vibe a lot, so. And, like, people are always... They thought I was such a bitch. Like they thought it was because he had a mental disorder that I didn't like him and treated him that way. But like I never told anyone. Like he was abusive <laughs> until recently. That came out recently. But sometimes I just get the feeling that it's uh, more of like a casual relationship than we have. Like we happen to be brothers. I was his. Uh... I was the first younger sibling, and I was like, he took, like always had me in his arms, like when I was younger, and he'd be taking back rides. Like he was so so attached. I know him better than I know most people. I'm bombed that I don't have anybody else. That's for sure. He's a really great. I mean, there's not much to say beyond that. He's a really great guy. Having a sibling is like a best friend that you can like live with and you can absolutely rag on how they trash the bathroom or don't trash the bathroom or whatnot and at the end of the day you can still go back to them for your problems or your advice or whatever you want to talk about. And you know, he's, he's found his place and I'm very proud of him for that because it could have been a lot more rough. But you know, he took what he had and he made it his own and I'm very proud of him for that. And that's something I can look up to, you know. Just like I told you, I'm a, I'm a book-learned, college-educated, scholarly motherfucker. <laughs>